What's poppin' Houston, Texas? It's your boy Martin Amini. We're here at the shop Dios. It's a Houston brand that's popping right now. We're gonna go check out what's inside. Let's go take a look. One thing I noticed is uh, Houston is very like community oriented. It's yeah. very like supportive of each yeah, other. Yeah, Not all yeah. cities are like that. What separates Houston from like other cities, you know, because we, 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 we're we on tour too. We go to, you know, all the big markets, Chicago, LA, yeah. Miami, and every city has its own flavor and energy. So right, what, what do you right, think right. Houston, like what, what separates from, Houston? Obviously the history. Going around the world and stuff like that and seeing different places, just like here, it's like a real, it's an authentic like family community vibe, bro. Like, even when I first started doing music, bro, like Bun B was on the radio and shot me out. I'd never met him. Wow. You know what I mean? Like, it's always been like, bro, if they see you doing your thing and putting your work in, they gonna pull up and support. Like, you'll never see anybody shitting on each other. If it's a genuine thing, and you're not hurting anybody, and you know, you, you putting the city in a good light and you, you show love to the community, it's always usually like a good, like, support system. Yeah, there's definitely a lot of hospitality. That's the energy I get when I come to Houston. Even yeah. um, last night, bro, what you think about the show? Like, show was fire. <laughs> was it, is it what you, they, expect, what you expect going into it? Because um, I know you probably didn't know too much about it. I got, I got a few comedian homies, like, and, and, and like, people that are into that world. So it was like, you know, I, it was fire to me. Like, you, they just shit. I like the, the dating part was funny as fuck, though. When the homies like, came, yeah. the homies from the Southwest, the, yeah, the, the, they, they came. You see the, the homie take off his shirt? You saw that? It's like, bro, I mean, that was on He embodied like so many. It's like, I felt like I was looking at like 20 different people I know. One, one dude, though. Like, you yeah. know what I mean? Like, so it was dope to see that. Even like the whole A-Leaf thing that you was talking about with somebody at the end and you from A-Leaf and then all these people from A-Leaf ended up coming up on stage. So it was, so it was cool. But yeah, that's dope. Also, the story in my dude. 2000 tickets and shit like that. That's cool. Yeah, see. man. Shout out to A Leaf, bro. Yeah. That shit was crazy. People who were there last night, they're like, bro, I remember you like two years ago when you were only performing for like, you know, 80 people, 70 people. And now it's like. Uh, and it's fire to see like how you play it forward with like the homie Brandon, like to pull him up on stage and then he gets that, you know, he gets that love and that reaction. And for you to continue to, you know, like put it now, right? because even for me, like my come up was literally that same type of thing. It'd be like somebody, like, I don't know if you listen to Currency, like Currency. Yeah, that's my generation. Heard, he heard me rapping and he seen me opening, I was I would open up for him all the time. They would book me to open up for him out here in our marks. He seen me, he was like, all right, bet, well, come on the whole tour with me. Oh, matter wow. of fact, let's do, like, come work with Jet Life for like, you know, yeah. man, we toured for some years. And, you know, it took people like you to do that and like pay it forward and then like bring another dude, like Brandon up and, when you acknowledge that he's killing it and put him in front of your crowd, then your crowd turns into his crowd and he builds his own crowd. Yeah. You know, like, that shit's cool, bro. That's the mantra, man. You want to, for me, it was like, basically like, uh, be the change you want to see, you know? Like, yeah. for me, like, I'd rather not complain about, you know, the, the old generation or how they did us, you know? Instead, you know, now that I'm like, you know, becoming like more of a veteran in the business, like I, I gotta like look out for the new generation. Right. That, that's what this is more about. Like this content right here is more about like sharing information. Because when I was coming up, there was a lot of gatekeeping and not people trying to share yeah, information. Yeah. And now with the power of like YouTube and social media, young homies, I'm talking like 17 to like 21, who's trying to get into the game. A lot of them just don't have access to information. That's what so I they, they can yeah. kind of watch the big homies like you and, and Georgie, who yeah. literally from the ground up built something. And now you have a platform, but they might not. I think sometimes the young generation, they see the end results. And, and they, they want and they want to like cut corners or take shortcuts yeah. and it's like bro like it's not it's deeper than just like the result it's it's the process of how you do it and that's something to pay attention to also about the new generation because I think sometimes they don't realize you know uh, how how things came about they kind of want the results fast yeah. especially with social media it's a social media thing because like it's so glamorized everybody's pictures is like oh this and that and not, it's only like to say the highlight on social media you don't see that. I think we show it a lot because we'll show like pictures of like before and after or like I'll tell people like, yo, bro, I remember selling 15 shirts and feeling like fucking right. Like, yeah. some people sell 15 sh shirts and be like, oh man, this ain't for me. I was like, nah, bro, if I sold 15, I can sell 30. Right. So if they're gonna sell 100, you know what I mean? Like you just, you gotta look at everything like you just, you gotta be optimistic, man. And just always, you know, take your wins and your losses and learn from both of them because you get caught up in your wins, you won't realize that like shit ain't gonna be smooth all the time. That's real, bro. So to all the young homies that might not have like a big homie to like uh, educate them or school them on like how to, you know, get into the game of whether it's like fashion 
or music. What are some like, you know, main, main principles to this day that you, you abide by, that you still live by every day when you wake up in the morning? What are some things that you always, that keeps you humble and keeps you grounded that some young homie might be watching that might wanna, like I said, he, don't, he might not have a big homie, but maybe he's watching yeah. this YouTube video that he's like, oh shit, I could take some game from this moment. It's kind of like how, man, if you just wake up every day and just aimlessly like try to get something done, you might not ever get it done. Cause you'll spend too much time like lying this and that and this and that, not knowing how to like, basically what I'm saying is time management. Organization. Yeah, organization time and time management. management, bro. Like it sounds like some real like. You could be writing things down, yeah. you know. Oh yeah, supposed. journal too, like, might sound gay, okay, but. <laughs> nah, bro. I journal it like, like probably like two or three times a week. Like I literally write my rhyme books and stuff like that. Like what I didn't do this week, what I should have did this week, what's on my mind, like what I'm trying to get to, like just yeah. to keep shit you know, in the clear view. That's real, because I think uh, young homies would be using that ADHD as an uh, excuse to, oh, like, oh, I got that ADHD. I have that shit, I'm sure you probably Every, have every artist process. in the game has some type of ADHD, yeah. but I feel like it's your responsibility to be, to manage your time, be organized, it don't matter, you know, what art you're in, like, I'm an artist, like, that's not an excuse. We're artists too, bro, but yeah. you know, but if you, to any successful artist, you gotta be about your business. So write some things down, be organized, and maybe one day, you know, you can have a dope ass shop like the homies right here in Houston, man. Yeah. That's right. For her, for her. So I, I, I want I got two shows tonight, two shows, uh, one show tomorrow, and uh, at the Houston Improv, I wanna I wanna rock some like you know some fire deals. You know, so what do you what do you what do you recommend, bro? I like something that pops. That's like, uh, oh yeah, that's kind of cool. Was it extra large? Not like just regular large. See. Did the one. But yeah, it's fire. Check it out. Bam. What's the, what was the uh, inspiration for this? It's a collab or? Uh, yeah, it was a DJ Screw collab with um, his sister. Okay. Yeah. That's a legend DJ Screw, right? Yeah. Texas. <laughs> we just opened up the comedy club in DC and hopefully we can expand the operation. So this was like a big inspiration to see, you know, what they're doing in Houston. When we walk in places like this, you know, I'm looking at Jaime like, yo, we gotta, we gotta build something in DC that yeah, kind of like, that's like a little uh, history when people watch it, so see all the, you know, no, yeah, I, I feel like just like now, bro, everything being online, it's just dope to have some tangible shit. You know, like that people could come pull up, see, touch, you know, really like immerse themselves in like whatever you're trying to build. Like they could feel what the, like when they come here, they, they could feel what the brand is like. Yeah, bro. The information I think is more valuable than bread, bro. Because yeah. with information, you can make bread. Yeah, uh, not easy. Yeah. Sometimes bread, you know, it comes and goes, but information is forever. Well, thank you again, man, for uh, spending time with us. Check out the Omi, and uh, yeah, man, I hope you guys enjoy this episode out of Houston, Texas, H-Town. What's up? Bang. Yes, Houston, make some noise. Yes. I could feel the trauma, you know? <laughs> it's a safe space, you know? We could talk about it. I think uh, it's okay. Clap your hands if you got beat when you're a kid. Wow, wow, yeah. You got B, you got B? Like, homie, you got B too? Yeah, you got B, I could tell. <laughs> what about you, young homie? Were you, were, you, were you beat as a kid or no? You were never beat? Oh my God. <laughs> no, he was, and he said no. He, he's a liar? Who the fuck are you? <laughs> are you his foster mom or what, what the fuck? <laughs> no, are you related or are y'all dating or what? What's, you're dating, okay. And so he, you, you say he was getting beat. Are you just talking about like in bed? Are you beat him in bed? <laughs> like, take that fucking pussy, yeah. <laughs> no, let's let, let, let him talk. It's a safe space. Is he allowed to talk, ma'am? What's your name, big dog? Miguel, Miguel, uh, where's your family from? Me they're me Mexican. Mexican parents and they, they didn't beat Miguel. Okay, so like let's say let's say you did some fucked up shit. Like let's say like you skipped class or you like you know didn't do your homework or you got a bad grade on your report card. You came home and what's your what's your dad's name? Victor. Victor? What did what did uh, what did Papa Victor do? <laughs> You're like come here, Miguel. Come sit on my lap. <laughs> what did what did, what did what did what did your dad do? He get mad, but like how did he discipline you? How did he make you change? Like you know not get bad grades? He would. He would talk to you. <laughs> you hear everyone in the room like, what the fuck? <laughs> what type of white shit? We expected it from this table over here. We didn't expect it from Miguel. Even the white people are like, what the fuck is going on? 
We got a defective Mexican over here. <laughs> they, they talk to you. Oh, you're the youngest. Okay, Miguel's a young. Okay, okay, yeah, yeah. See, see, see. We all know he's the bitch. <laughs> no, no, no. Respectfully, in front of the girl. Respectfully, respectfully. He still needs to get pussy after this show. Respectfully, he's not a. He's not like a bitch, bitch. You know, he's like a. You know, he's like a bitch. You're not like. You're like we all know exactly what we're saying. Because everyone knows whoever the youngest is in the family is the baby, right? That's like the little, like they get spoiled. They, you got all the best gifts. By the, how, many, how many siblings do you have? Like a lot of them? Five, five, okay. And then you're the youngest out of five. So you have like, whole, like you got siblings in their 30s and up, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. They were abused. <laughs> That's what happens. You guys are old. You're a little older. You guys have been, how old are you? 26. You're 26. Okay, wow. You look, yeah. <laughs> God, I don't know what's in the water here in Houston, but you guys are crazy, bro. Stay off the steroids, bro. You're, but are you an athlete or something? You play sports or you're just big? You play football? Did you play football in high school or did you, you didn't do anything? Baseball. Baseball. Oh, wow. Did you play baseball? Do you still play baseball or no? Based on how much you're drinking, probably not. No. All right, that's what's up, bro. Did you get beaten when you were a kid, too? Oh, then that's your pops there? Oh, hell yeah. Your dad's man like, he got fucked up, bro. Hell yeah, bro. That's fucking awesome, bro. Nice to meet you, sir. And uh, you know, what's your name? Sean. Sean. Nice to meet you. How'd you uh, how'd you beat your child? <laughs> it's a, no, 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 no. Let the let the dad talk. Sean, <laughs> Sean. Let Sean talk. You have to use the belt. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's a big boy, right? You have to spank him like this. <laughs> you sit down, son. Yeah. Oh, you spanked him with the with the belt, huh? Yeah. But he came out good, right? He came out like you know. Now he's successful. Right? <laughs> well, let's see. Uh, you know, let's see what happened with him after he got beat with the belt. What do you do now? Estimator. You're an estimator. Construction. 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 You could have beat him a little bit more. <laughs> <laughs> you know, he could have been the foreman. He could have been the supervisor. He could have maybe started a company, at least a podcast. You know what I mean? Like, <laughs> fuck, bro. It's never too late after the show. Maybe in the parking lot. <laughs> We got some Asian homies here. Oh yeah. Yeah. Oh, Asian, you're Asian. Oh my God, I thought you were Mexican. Okay, what, and what's your, uh, what's your background? Laos. What about over here, Asian homies? Korea. What is it? Korea. Korea. South Sider. <laughs> nah, just gotta check, you know what I mean? Yeah, I check sometimes, you know what I'm saying? Nah, we got the South, South Side homies. We got Korean and Laos, you know? Uh, can you teach me some, uh, like, you know, some, do you, you guys speak Korean? Yeah, yeah. yeah how's your, you know, if I, let's say I want to, you know, I'm with my wife after the shows tonight, I want to, <laughs> I want to do some Korean, you know, sexual shit, you know, like, like, yeah! <laughs> no, 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 see, but I don't know anything. So this is my, this is why I'm, I'm, we're here to learn. Hey, Korean homie, what's your, what, tell me your name. Mike, nice to meet you, Mike. Mike, tell me some Korean shit that I can, you know, how do you say, like, uh, you're beautiful in Korean? Ipo. Ipo. Eat ball. Okay, hold on, let me practice. Eat ball. <laughs> yeah? Yeah? Okay. And then, uh, what about, uh, you like that? Whoa. Jawahe. Eat ball, jiwahe. Like that? Eat ball, jiwahe. <laughs> Even in my fantasy, I come quick. <laughs> it kind of sounds like, do you want head? You know? Do you want head? Do you want head? She's like, yeah, I'm a fucking head. Eat my fucking pussy. I'm like, no, no. Nice. Nice. All right, all right, G-Y-H. You know, and what's your, what's your name again? What's your young homie? Tristan. Christian? Tristan. Tristan, nice to meet you. Are you single, Tristan? Oh, wow. Are you romantic? No. <laughs> I could tell, Tristan. <laughs> but that's why I got the Korean homies here. And you know, and now, you know, you know Korean now. Do you know G-Y-H? What is G-Y-H and there was, well, was Ipo? Ipo is, uh, you're, you're pretty. And G.Y. Head is like, you like that. You remember that? Ipo, G.Y. Head. 
you're a big fucking dude, bro. I know you got a, at least a five inch dick, minimum. <laughs> minimum. All we need is some Korean or some, you know, we gotta give you some uh, sazon. You know what I mean? Sazon is seasoning. You don't got seasoning. So we gotta give you some uh, Korean barbecue energy. You know? Let's give you some, uh, you know, ipo jiwahe. Ipo jiwahe. All right? Come on, Tristan, you got it. I know you got it in you, big uh, You got it in you. Come on, pull up the white tiger. No, don't drink another. <laughs> Here we go. One, two, three. Ipo Jiwahe. Ipo Jiwahe. Yeah. Yeah. All right. You know, a little practice, but he'll be all right, you know? Good practice. And what about Laos? You know, some sexual shit. Is Laos a sexual language? What's the dialect? What's it called, Laos? Laotian. Laotian. Ooh. It's similar, it's similar to time. How do you, how, how do you say, like, um, you know, you got good pussy? <laughs> Go ahead, you got this. Don't fail me now. You got this. Look, give me some of that. You, you got good pussy. You got that fire ass pussy. Yeah. Yeah, say something. Say something sexual, you know, and then tell us what it means. Om koi. Om koi? Om koi is suck my dick. Om koi. Hmm. Om koi. Om koi. Om koi. Om koi. <laughs> it doesn't really have the, you know, the. Mm. I like the Ibo Hey guy. G Bo G One Head. Hmm. I like this crowd. It's toxic. It's a lot of sexual tension. So let's try this one more time, you know, let's see. Single people make some noise. Wow, you're single, you're single? Wow, you're single too. You're not single? Young, the Korean homie single? Oh, are you from Houston? You're from Houston and you got, you got a job, Korean homie? You're an auto mechanic, fire bro. He owns the shop. I like it, you're a good hype man. Oh, that's your brother? Oh wow, family business. Oh, do you, work, you don't work at the shop though, huh? Oh, and what about it? Uh, how long you been single for? Oh yeah, okay. And what kind of girls do you like? Do you like uh, any, any time? He likes Latinas. Wow, Korean homie. He owns his own. Uh, was an auto body shop, auto mechanic shop, and you like Latinas. Mmm. <laughs> have you uh, have you ever dated a Latina? You have. What, what, where was she from? Mexico. Oh, ho, ho. <laughs> come on, Korean homie. Let's come on stage, man. Come on, Korean homie. Come on. Yes. Come on. Come on. We're going to show him that. Come on this way. Go this way. Yeah. We're going to show him that egg roll tonight, big dog. Yes. Oh, ho, ho. I bow to you. Yes. Yes. So you like Latinas, huh? That's your, oh wow, you're, you're, you're a muscular homie, huh? You're, 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 tell, tell me your name one more time. Michael. Michael, all right, Michael, let's, you know, we, you know, uh, you, you have experience with Latinas, so, you know, that means you, you know, a little bit, okay. <laughs> but you have experience, you know, you, uh, you, got, you got a little bit of sazon, right? You know, to, 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 to date a Latina, you need sazon, because Latinas, they got sazon. You know what's seasoning, you know that, right? You know, you, you, you could, you could no, not, yeah, salsa, yeah, that's, uh, <laughs> he's like, salsa, I know. It's like duck sauce, it's salsa. <laughs> so we're gonna see, do you know any Spanish, uh, Michael? Yeah, I speak Spanish. You speak Spanish? Oh, can you, can, okay, uh, we, okay, let's practice. Let's say there's a beautiful Latina here. Let's see, let's, you know, let's find one, you know, let's see. Uh, but I'll say like, yeah, Go ahead, go ahead, let's hit. Let's say, you know, if you're in bed with a Spanish girl, you know, what would you say, you know, what would, what would you tell her? I'm not at that level. Yeah. I'm not, I'm not like, you know. You know, mi amor, say mi amor. Well, I would say mi amor, you know, me encanta, me gusta, like, you know, stuff like that. Yeah. Uh, say, it, say it more romantic, say the same thing, but say it more romantic, say it like sexual, like, like, like pretend like this is your bitch right here. <laughs> you know, cause she's gonna be like five foot two anyway, so. <laughs> say like, say like me encanta, say the same thing, you, you're doing so good. Uh, no, you're so, you're doing so good, everyone so, everyone clap for you. Yeah! To be honest, it's 
you really want to learn uh, Spanish, you listen to Hispanic music. They're very strong. They're very dialect. And then... I feel like you got to learn Spanish and English too, big dog. <laughs> No, 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 ja, 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 I love this guy, I love this guy. No, no, this guy's super cute. He's very wholesome. Well, I feel like we're gonna, don't make him toxic, you know? He's a nice guy. You're like a nice, you're like a nice guy though, huh? All right, this guy's nice. I'm not gonna make him, you know, talk, be sexual with the chair. I'm not, you're a nice guy. No, 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 but, but I, I wanna see, I think, uh, okay, how about this? In English, how about, uh, where would you take a girl on a romantic date, big dog, Michael? Oh, you understood that motherfucker, bro? <laughs> He's like, oh. Just some basic, you know, like a um, picnic or movies or dinner after that. And then, you know, go bicycle riding, stuff like that. Oh, wow, that's very cute. Would you, uh, would you pick them up? Would you do flowers or no, no flowers in the first day? Yeah. Flowers, chocolate. Oh, oh chocolate. They got the, you got the girl's attention now. Okay. All right, that's good. You do good. Okay. Houston, shut the fuck up. <laughs> Michael, he likes Latinas, but he's uh, open-minded or just like open-minded? I'm very open. Very open, very open. <laughs> <laughs> okay, any single girls interested? He likes to go out, picnic, chocolates, flowers. Single girls, make some fucking noise. Oh my God, wanna come on stage? Come on, come say hi to Michael. Wow, Michael, look what that wang did, bro. Okay, here we go. She's coming. We got hey, over there. You want to come say hi to Michael? Come say hi. Come say, come, come on. Yeah, come on. Hurry the fuck up. Hurry up. Come on. We don't got time. Yes. Here we go. Yes. Yeah. John is excited. Like, yeah. This is what I saw on Facebook. Yeah. Finally. <laughs> Here we go, very excited, okay. Keep it going for the beautiful lady, yeah! Very nice to meet you, what's your name? Oh, it's okay, okay, keep it going for Cynthia one time. Yeah! All right. Is there any other single girls interested in my homie Michael, the Korean homie, he owns an auto uh, mechanic shop. He'll fix your car and eat your pussy at the same time, bro. You wanna come say hi? Come on, come say hi to Michael, let's go! Come on, come on! Come on! Yeah, there we go, yes! All right, she trying to get a tune up on stage, yeah! Keep it going, we got two girls, last call for, for Michael. Any other girls? Yeah, oh, we got, no, okay. Oh, she's trying to take a shit instead, my bad. I, I was like, oh shit, we got a third. I was like, no, no, no. You go. All right. What? Wait, what? Okay. But she says she wants... All right, whatever. We'll wait, we'll wait. All right, last call for Michael, the Asian homie. We got anyone else? You want to come? Okay, stop teasing us, bitch. All uh, right, here we go, here we go. Is that it? That's it? Okay, here we go. Give it, yo, keep it going for these beautiful ladies one time, bro. Very nice, you got two girls, big dog. Let's get to know them. All right, it was, a, it was Cynthia. Cynthia, what part of Houston are you from and what do you do? I'm from Missouri City. Missouri City. And what do you do for a living? I work for a distributing company. Ooh, and when you saw, when you saw Michael on stage, you know, what, what uh... <laughs> Shut the fuck up. What caught your attention? What, what made you want to get up there? What, what, how'd you want to, you know, what, what, what caught your attention when you saw Michael? Those muscles. The muscles. Do you want to, do you want to, you want to test the product? You want to test it? You want to squeeze the arm? No, go ahead, you can squeeze it. Ah, yeah. Very nice. And tell me your name and, and where are you from? My name is Alejandra and I'm um, from Rosenberg. Okay, okay, Rosenberg. Alejandra, same question. When you saw Michael come on stage, you know, what compelled you to come on stage and talk to him? Look, you know, tell us, you know, look at him. He can fix my car. <laughs> wow. Okay, he likes that. He's like, yeah. He's like, I can do more than fix your car. But that means he's in a uniform, right? So a man in a uniform, mechanic, wearing the lights, right? <laughs> oh, she's in the role-playing, dog. <laughs> 
Do you wear a uniform, Mike? Michael, what, do you wear a uniform? Yeah, I do. It has your name on it, too? Yeah. Oh. Okay. Now, did you, ladies, you remember what Michael said for uh, first day? He said, you know, picnic, movies. Yeah, he, I think he said dinner, uh, chocolates, flowers. Do you, do you like that idea? Yes. And then, yeah, do you like that? Do you like, you know? Do you have any, do you have any questions for, for, uh, for Michael? Do you want to get to know him a little bit? Alejandra? Hi, me. <laughs> um, no, it's okay. You like what you see. Yeah, you like what you see. All right, Michael, I think these girls are really feeling you, big dog. They like the vibes, bro. Yeah. How do you feel about these girls? Man, you have any questions for these young ladies? You want to get to know them a little bit? Later on? Later on. Oh, later on. Later on. Oh, later on. I thought, I thought, <laughs> oh, later on. My bad. I thought he was doing some Korean shit. I was like, oh, lay long. Oh, oh, lay long. I want to lay long that dick on him, huh? That's what I, I okay, okay, but no, but I know, uh, yes, I know, yes, Michael, later on, but uh, the rules are, we got to pick, we got to pick one, you know, you, we got to pick one, you know, it's, it's, it's America, we have to be respectful. <laughs> Um, if, 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 if this, this is the part where you kind of have to choose, so like, is it, if, that's why we can ask them questions, get to get to know them, you know. We got, you know, we got, we got. Oh, oh, she lives in Rosenberg. Are you gonna drive? How, how far is Rosenberg? Do you know how? Do you know where Rosenberg is? How how far is Rosenberg? That's far. It's forty minutes. It's 40, it's 40 minutes away. Do you, would you drive to Rose? Would you drive 40 minutes to see Alejandro? Yeah, I live in Galveston. Wow. That's an hour. It's far. Wow. Okay. Fuck, this made it, this made it complicated. And where, and where do you live? Missouri City. Oh, wow. So how, how, how far is it from uh, Galveston? Where's your, where's your auto cam mechanic shop? Uh, in Pasadena. Oh, Pasadena. Okay, okay. I don't know where that is either, but. Okay, so would you drive to go see these girls in your car? Yeah, I would. Yeah, he would, he would. There's no problem. Yeah, no, he's not. He's ready, he's ready to go. He just needs to, he just needs to decide which, which girl he likes more. Is there anything you want to get to know these girls? You know, ask them any questions. Yeah, we huh? He said both. No, 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 no. You gotta, you're a romantic guy, you're wholesome. I can, no way. You say you can't do both? No, I can't do both. Okay, which girl do you feel in more, Michael? You wanna do her? All right, yo. Thank you so much, Ali. Give it going for Ali Hunter at one time. Keep it going for the winner, Cynthia. Cynthia, do you want to step over here? Michael, do you want to step right here? What do you guys think? Should they go on a dinner date? Do you guys want to see a fucking vessel? You guys know what to do. Vessel, vessel, vessel. Hold her hand, walk her down the stage, get her up. Yeah. <laughs> oh, so cute. <laughs> yeah, man. Good job, Michael. Congratulations, big dog. Did you get the number? You, you didn't get the number. Go get the number. Get up. Go get the number, bro. Call her. Make sure it's a real number. <laughs> Fucking Michael, bro. Oh my God, Michael. What happened? All right, we're gonna. Should we keep going? Yeah, yeah Jonathan. Yeah. Was that the best you wanted, or you want a little bit more? A little bit more? Yeah, a little bit more? Yeah, all right, all right. Oh, yeah, one more? Okay, okay. We helped a guy, we helped a guy. Let's see, we gotta we got help, got help a girl out. Let's see. That girl, that girl, okay, hold on. These girls are... Okay, here, okay, okay, all right. Shut the fuck up! Over there? Okay, do you got a job? You got a, you got a, do you have a job? You have a job? Yes. Are you, are you toxic or no? You're a friend. Okay, come on, come on, come on. 
I see she got a job. She says she's not toxic. Let's get to know her. Oh, yeah, come, come on, come this way, come this way, yeah. Let's see, let's see. Let's get to know her, be nice. We helped out Michael, the Korean homie. Let's see, let's help out a lady now. All right, what's your name? Margarita. Everyone keep it going for Margarita. Yes. All right, Margarita. Tell us, uh, you know, where are you from and what do you do? I am from Tomball, Texas, and I'm an instructional specialist. Okay, okay, you're an, you're an instructional specialist. What the fuck is an instructional therapist? Let's, you know, get a little bit more thorough. So I work in education and I work with coaching teachers, doing uh, curriculum writing. And today is World Teacher Day, so shout out to our teachers. All right. Okay, you sound like a, you're an articulate lady. You know how to talk well. And so what kind, of, what kind of guy do you typically like today? What's your type, you know? What's your style? What are your vibes? Um, someone who's able to have a conversation, you know, have a good time. Oh my God! Shut the fuck up, you toxic ass. No, they got terrible seats. Don't worry about them. Come on, Margarita. Come on. Don't be shy. Come stand over here. Get in the light. Let them see you on this side. Let them see you on that side. You know, you got a lot going on. So let's put it out to the universe what you want. You keep going. You said you're like, someone you can talk to. Keep going. Yeah, anybody that likes to go out, have fun. <laughs> Sporting events, I like to go see the Astros. Texans is cool. Um, go traveling. I'm going to Guatemala with my friends over here on Monday. So. Okay, where's your family from? Mexico. Okay, okay. Uh, and when it comes to like, um, you know, uh, backgrounds, like, you know, can they, can, do you, are you open-minded? Can it be like, um, you know, can it be white or Asian or, or it has to be like, do you have a type? Uh, no, I'm pretty open as long as they're open to like cultural differences. Okay. <laughs> cultural differences, all right. Okay, fire. And uh, let's see, let's see, let's see, uh, let's see if we can find you a nice, wholesome guy here in Houston, Texas. Early show Saturday, let's see. All right, all right, single homies, listen up, bro. She's looking for an articulate homie. She likes to go to sporting events. She wants a wholesome dude, not toxic, you know? And uh, yeah, she wants to know, she, she's looking for a good guy. So if there's any single homies here in Houston interested in Margarita, make some fucking noise. Oh, we got one homie over there? What's up, big dog? You wanna come on and say hi? Come on. Oh, we got one homie over there coming to the stage. Let's see what he looks like. One contender. All right, who else do we got? We got any other uh, homies that wanna come on stage and say hi? Where y'all at? Y'all wanna come? Come on, big dog, come on. Over there, over there. All right, here we go. Oh, we got another one. Okay, Margarita. Pour it up, pour it up for Margarita! Yes! Let's go! I like this guy, this guy's happy as fuck. I like this guy. There we go. Homie just came from a workout, let's go! Okay, oh, look at this tall homie, wow! Little brown, little... Yeah, man, little brown sensation over here, let's go! What about you, Big Dog? Don't be shy, Big Dog, come here. Nice to meet you, Big Dog. Oh, nice, firm handshake, very masculine. Did you guys all say hi to Margarita? Were you a gentleman? Did you say hello, mucho gusto, you know, nice to meet you? Come on, say hi. Don't be shy, you guys can say hi, you know, feel the vibes. Come on, go say hi, go say hi. Yeah, look at that, make eye contact. Uh, oh, oh. All right, all right, let's get to know these guys, Margarita. I, these, this is the four best I can do right now for this show. <laughs> let's see, let's get to know them. Shut the fuck up, you know? I like this homie, he looks jolly as fuck, bro. Let's see. All right, big homie, what's your, uh, tell me your name and where are you from? Uh, my name is Leandro, I'm from Jersey. Oh, you're from Jersey, do you live in Houston now? No, nah, my sister does, I'm with her right here tonight. Oh, a little family vibes, okay, okay. And um, how long you in town for? Uh, until Monday. Ooh, that's when she leaves for Guatemala. <laughs> Isn't that convenient? <laughs> All right, let's get to know this homie. What about you, big dog, where are you from and uh, what do you do? Uh, I'm from uh, Pasadena, Texas, and uh, I'm a, I work in refineries. You work in the what? Refineries. Refineries, masculine homie. All right. Now let me. Uh, what's some your name? 
Mario. 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 When you saw when you when you Mario when you saw Margarita on stage, what compelled you to get out of your chair and come and say hi to her? Now come over here, big dog, and look at her in the eye and tell her. <laughs> Mario, be masculine. Grab the microphone. Yeah. I'm single, ready to mingle, baby. Wow. Wow, the refinery homies are romantic. I don't know they had it in them. He's trying to drill for something tonight. Let's go. Aladdin, come this way, bro. All right, big dog. Tell me your name and where you from. Now, I'm named Christian from uh, San Francisco Bay Area. Oh, do you live in the Houston area now? Yeah, three years, Cyprus. Okay, and then what do you, and what do, you do for a living now? Engineer for United Airlines. <laughs> Engineer. Yeah, man. He said, I can show you the world. <laughs> All right. Now, big Christian, now, when you saw Margarita on stage, what made you want to come on stage and say hi to her, man? Take the moment, take the microphone and tell her. You a sexy mamacita. Okay. A man of few words, but romantic. Uh, I like that, straight to the point. All right, big dog, you're up, big dog. Tell me your name and where you from. My name is Joe Hernandez, and I'm from uh, Spring, Texas. Oh, and what do you do, big dog? I work in artificial intelligence at Comcast NBC Universe. Oh, artificial intelligence. He's a smart fool, bro. I didn't, I underestimated you, big dog. Don't judge a book by his cover. He's like, I fuck with the robots, big dog. Okay, big dog, Joel. So when you saw Margarita, what, did, what, what made you want to come on stage and say hi to her? Take the microphone, make eye contact and be masculine. It's how authentic you are, you know. You're, you're really just kind, like you approached me with a hug, Ponces. If, if I would do, like, if I would make plans on the weekends, te preguntaría. Carnita asado, que mija? Oh, ho, 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 ho. fuck, bro. Fuck. That was romantic as fuck, bro. Oh, my God. Damn, Margarita. How do you feel about all these guys so far? What do you think of this group? I think they're all very nice. I do have a question. Oh, yeah, go ahead. How old is everybody? Oh, we'll start with Aladdin. Let's go over here. <laughs> I'll turn 30 tomorrow. 30 tomorrow. Okay, what about you, Big Dog? I'm 24. 24, and what about you, Big Dog? I'm 24. 24 over here, and what about you, AI? 28. 28, okay, 28. 30 tomorrow, you said 20, and two 24 year old homies. And, and, you say what, you got three? Huh? Huh? <laughs> okay, maybe you wanna ask that next question if they got any kids. I'm 33. Okay, okay, okay. Is there, is, is, is there, do you wanna, uh, is there any elimination that you wanna do? <laughs> is, it, is it a deal breaker that these homies are 24? 24 is a little young. Okay, okay. Let's keep it going for the 24 year olds. <laughs> All right, all right, young homies, please get the fuck off the stage. Aladdin, you stay and you stay, big dog. Aladdin, you're off? No, she said, she said 24 year olds. Yeah, bro. For an engineer, you're dumb as fuck, bro. <laughs> That's why United keep fucking up, bro. It's fucking these guys like this. Okay, Margarita. We got an engineer homie, not that much, but we got a, also an AI homie. That's right, he's ready to cook for you. He's ready to, you know. Take care of you. So let's see, let's see, let's uh, let's ask these homies. You know, where would they take you on a romantic first date? How about that? All right, we'll start with you, Joel. Joel, where would you where would you take Margarita on a romantic first date? Do you like Vanda? Do you like Vanda Grupos? I would take you to this place called Sirenas in Midtown. They have mariscos and Vanda every weekend. I like this guy. He, he speaks from the corazón. You know, <laughs> this guy. He's got a lot of you know. Uh, yeah, bro. Okay, let's go, let's go. Where would you take her on a romantic first date? I gotta ask first, you got any pets? Pets? Are you, are you a dog lover? Yeah, so I'll take her on a brunch out in uh, Discover Postino. Yeah, Postinos. Yeah, Postinos. And then a walk through uh, the ba uh, bayou with the dog, you know. Okay, he said, he said something about the bayou and walking the dog, I think. 
Okay, all right, okay, okay. Uh, I think both answers were good, you know? No, I think, I think both answers were really good. Uh, Margarita, based on those answers, do you feel like you got to know them or do you want to keep going and getting to know their personality? I think, does anybody have children? Oh, yeah. Joel, do you have any kids? No, no kids and I have at my own house. <laughs> he has his own house too. I got no kids and I got my own house too. Wow! Competition's getting stiff right here. Pull out your credit score right now! <laughs> nah, these are these guys, they got no kids, they got their own house, they're very independent. These are I'm very proud of the Houston men right now. They're making me proud, you know. Now, Margarita, based on that information. I think you got two great men here. Two, di two, two different flavors, you know? Well, you know, life is all about options. This is, this, is, uh, this, this, is, this is the ball is in your court, you get to choose. So do you think you're feeling anyone right now or do you want to ask them one last, you have one last question? Because we got to keep the show going. Okay, Margarita says she's good, she knows who she likes. Everyone shut the fuck up. Margarita, what does your heart tell you? Who do you want to go with? I think just based off the first impression question you said, I would have to go. Yeah. Uh, yeah. All right, big dog. Yo, keep it going for Joel one time. Wow. Joel, you want to step right here? Margarita, do you want to step right here? What do you guys think? Are they a good match? Yeah. Should they go out on a first date? Yeah. Do you guys want to see a vessel? Congratulations. Congratulations, Margarita. Walk her, hold her hand and walk her down, big dog. Oh, yes, go. Oh, my God. Oh, man. Woo. Jonathan, what'd you, th what'd you think about that one, bro? <laughs> that was fucking hot as fuck, huh? All right, man. Houston, did you guys have a good time tonight, man? Wow, that was an amazing show, man. Actually, my fifth show. I did uh, Philly, Jersey, New York, uh, DC, and Houston. I was just more excited. It's just like just to be in the moment, to put myself out there. I came just to visit my sister from Jersey here in Houston, so might as well do something, right? Being on stage was a lot of fun. Fortunately, I'm a little young, but you know, it's all right. It's all good. It's just saying like what age you need me to be, right? Maybe that work next time. I don't know. Watch the special. Come see Martin and support. It's great to see a person of color killing it on stage. And I love it. Ja, ja, ja. Beso, beso, beso. What's, what was your favorite part? Beso, 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 beso. Houston, Texas, uh, you know, Saturday early show. Probably one of the, like, the fun, like, the, the most diverse as far as, like, people coming on stage. We had a Korean homie come on stage. At one point, he was speaking, he was speaking Korean. We had an engineer from United Airlines. We had um, we had a homie uh, who, who was working in AI. I was very impressed with the jobs were very impressive. Shout out to all the homies in Houston doing it big. And shout out to the women, again, bringing their A game, being like eloquent, articulate. They got like, bro, like, I'm so impressed with Houston. This, this These shows were like not toxic at all. It was very wholesome. And um, I think uh, we did some really good matches. Uh, some of my favorite parts was like uh, making fun of the white homies. They were really, I, I said, how'd you end up, 
finding out about the show and he's like, oh, I saw a Facebook post that it was like Beso Beso. And I was like, oh, okay. And nah, they were cool, man. So shout out to the white homies that, you know, they're down with the Besos. And um, yeah, it's really, I just really enjoy like seeing how, how, how many different communities pull up to the shows now and enjoy the, the Doce Corazones vibes, you know, the Sabado Gigante. It's like seeing white people at the Sabado Gigante, you know, show. It's like, whoa, like, I didn't know they were gonna be here, but they love the vibes, they're with it. And so seeing white people be like, bad so, bad so, I'm like, that's fucking cool, man. So shout out to the whole community of Houston, man. Y'all show big love. Hope you guys enjoy this new episode, because it's a banger. Bow. What's poppin', everybody? Just wanna let you guys know, Richmond, Virginia, I'm pulling up November 14th at the Richmond Funny Bone. It's my first time back since last year. I hope you guys get your tickets at martinamini.com. Also, November 16th, I'm pulling up to Washington, D.C. for the biggest show of the year. I'll be at the Warner Theater. Make sure you go to my website, martinamini.com, for them jaw jaws. Lastly, New York City. I'm pulling up November 30th at the Town Hall Theater. This is going to be the biggest show in New York for this year. All tickets will be sold out by today. So go to martinamini.com for them tickets. Also, last call, Los Angeles, January 14th. We just added it to the Love Tour. If you live in LA and you want to pull up, go to my website for January 14th. We're at the Hollywood Improv. Go to martinamini.com for all the cities. There's 30 cities on the website right now. So if you don't hear your city right now, go to my website and see where I'm at.